Hello and good evening everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate fully managed file share service, FSX. The overall purpose of FSX is to improve the performance, efficiency and reliability of file sharing on Windows network. It is a fully managed service and provides file storage for Windows and Linux applications. It is a highly performing service at low cost. It also provides rich integration with the other AWS services like AWS Directory Service for Microsoft Active Directory, AWS IAM, Amazon Workspaces, AWS Key Management Service, and AWS Cloud Trail. Also, at the end of this demonstration, I'm going to leave some web links to AWS documentation. So if you want to do it, you can follow those documents and this video. This may help you to create your own file share. So let us start now. I have already created here a directory service because itself it takes about 45 minutes to create. And uh, also I have created file share, which I will demonstrate to you how to create them. This is again another 45 minutes it takes. So altogether it may take up to 90 minutes just to create these two services. I will demonstrate how to create these and then we will use these, which is already created. I will also create an EC2 instance and then I will show you how to share your drive to that Windows machine. So let's just start from directory service. So first thing first, we need to create a AWS directory. So set up a directory, click on that. AWS managed Microsoft Active Directory. I'm selecting this option and click next. So there is two version, standard and enterprise. So I will take an, for an example, the standard version today. Give it a name like say.com. NetBIOS name again can be any you like, yeah? And in the description, you can put whatever, what, again, whatever you like. Yeah. So admin password, you should choose a password here. Right, I will need to some work, I think. I will need to do some work here to go to the next step. Okay, so I'm choosing my password here. And uh, I think yes, then click next. Choose your VPC, I have my VPC created, that is Siddiqui VPC with my name. I'm not choosing the default one, but you can choose your default one in your working environment and choose the subnets you want to. I will choose these two subnets for multi-AC purpose and click next. Well, these are showing some errors. Uh, Siddiqui, Well, they shouldn't do because they work for me. So if I click next, yeah, and then you create a directory. As soon as you click create, it will take about 45 minutes or so just to be completed. And it will look like this. So I have already created this to save over time and it, you will see it is the status is active, but that's the way how you create it. Once you have the active directory in place, you need to create FSX. Click on FSX and click create. So here is various options. We will create today this one. FSX for Windows file server. There is FSX for Lister, FSX for OpenZFS. You can look at 
on various options here. So we are working today here on for Windows file share. Click next. Again, give it a name. Okay. Then multi AZ recommended. You can choose single AZ as well to save your cost, but it is recommended for multi AZ. SSD 32 GB must be the minimum space you need to choose here. If you do less than that, it will give you the message that it must be 32. Then throughput 32 MB is per second recommended throughput capacity as well. Again, you need to choose your VPC where you want to create that. Again, my VPC, Siddiq VPC and the security group, you can choose, choose any of yours. I can show you what security group I have there in a bit. Also, the preferred subnets, we have two subnets. You can choose any subnets you like to. Then Windows authentication, AWS manage Active Directory. Here, if you had your own Active Directory, you can choose this option and then fill your domain name and all that. So if it is AWS Manage Microsoft Active Directory, which we just created, it is showing here. So choose that, sit.com. Encryption key. Again, you can enter your own encryption key or you can follow just this one. Auditing. Yeah, it's best option to choose logs as well. So you can always keep an eye where is the issue if you encounter any issues there. Access is optional. DNS, you can choose another alias options as well here. Backup and maintenance, you can accord to your requirement. When do you, do you want to backup for it or select a start time or no preference, whatever you, you want to use. Tag, again, you can name it. So sorry. when you click next, this will give you this window, create file system. And it is giving you the option, editable after creation. So file system type, Amazon FSX for Windows file server, you cannot edit it once it is created. And file system name, for example, you can edit it. So these type of options are here. And when you click create file system, it will again bring you here. After 45 minutes, it takes about 45 minutes to create. Right, so now we have Active Directory in place and we have file share in place as well. So yeah. what you need to do, you need to create an EC2 instance, which again, I have created, but I will show you again what type of EC2 instance you need here, where you will need to create an IAM role as well. Okay, so instance running. So I have already this instance, which is running. I will show you how to map a device to it in a bit. So let's click on launch instance. Again, choose a name for it. Windows machine. T2 micro, put save the cost. And then key pair, you need to choose your key pair. I have one here, so I will choose this one. Again, your VPC under which VPC you want it. Subnets, I will choose public subnet and it assign auto assign public IP should be enabled as well. In your environment, it might be different. You may work through Fleet Manager, for example. Right, so create a security group or choose your existing one here. So I can choose one of my security groups, whichever I like to, say this one. The ports for RDP connection 3389 must be open to access through Windows machines. Storage must be 30 GB as minimum. In the advanced details, here you will need to choose 
your domain name ignore that spot instance we are not talking about this at the moment so your domain you need to choose it here and that's the new thing is iam role role for file share i have created that so i will share a document in the comment box how to create this role uh, i can quickly show you by the way here okay Let's go to I am. Okay. So create a role, click on the roles, create a role, AWS services for EC2 instances. You can create different roles for Lambda as well, but here we are talking about EC2 instances. Next. The policies you need to choose calls, Amazon SSM manage instance core and Amazon SSM directory service access. So let's find it, SSM. What do they have in SSM? So we need is uh, let me find it. Manage service. Mm. Well, I can do. maybe type the full name S S and managed. Let's see. Oh, not coming. S S managed instance core. So this one is we want, and the other one is, oops, sorry, other one I want is S S M directory service. S S M directory, and this one. So them two are selected, and click next. Role name, any name you can give it here. These two policies are attached and click create a role. As soon as you create the role, click create on the role, you will see a role is created with the name you have given here. S S D S A T doesn't matter. So I have created in the same way the IEM role, which calls role for file share. Okay. Host name type IP you can leave as it is, then all these settings leave as it is and launch an instance. As soon as you click on the launch instance, you will see an instance has been created for you. You don't need any more settings here. So let's go back what I have already created here. Before hence now. Okay. So I have just created this one, which is running instance. So I need to connect to it. RDP session, download the remote desktop service. While it is downloading, you can get the password for it. The key you created earlier, decrypt that. Get the password, click on it, get connect. So I'm connecting to the EC2 server. While it is connecting, we close this one as well now. And go to your directory service. Or I think go to your file share to get the directions for your file 
file server. Right, copy this DNS name. Go back to your Windows server. Go to file share or says to C drive and with the backslash backslash paste this. Hit enter. Okay, now you need to provide your logins which you have created. So sit.com backslash admin and the password whichever you choose during the creation of file share. Click OK. So here you go. You can have see this is the sh your share here. You can create a text file here as well. I had in another device so that is mapped straight away. If you want to create a new file just this file. Right, so once you have the share, select that with the right click, it is taking some time and uh, map a network drive. So your direction is already here with the Z drive. You can choose whatever name you like here and collect finish. So now you should see a share here. That's the one I can see here file share and your files are here as well. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.